All right, guys, check this out. So we got Casey here. No, he's in his work clothes. Say what's yeah, up, man. <laughs> so we are going to wrap his hood scoop today. Now, ever since I showed you guys a video of me wrapping my hood scoop, which is right over there, I got a whole bunch of requests on asking how I wrap my hood scoop because apparently it's a pain in the ass. But if you use the method that I use, it's not gonna be that hard. Um, now keep in mind, I don't know how the pro shops do it in one piece and, and the, the way I do it, it's gonna be two separate pieces. And you won't be able to tell that it's two separate pieces. First thing we gotta do, we gotta take all of this um, stuff under the hood out in order to get the hood scoop out. Cause this has to be taken out and it's not that hard. Just a few clips, a few bolts and it comes right out. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that. I don't have the tools, the necessary tools to take this out the proper one. So I'm just using my man hands that I was born with to take these out. I wanna try not to rip the uh, little sound dampener piece. <laughs> ah. All right, so now that we took the dampener piece out, now we, we just have these pop clips um, all around. It's got some inside the hood scoop, um, two eight millimeter bolts. And then these four are the ones to take out your actual hood scoop. So really easy. Oh, Dropping clips in the engine bay. It happens. Loving alcohol. Now, what I like to do since, you know, I'm real attention to detail oriented, I like to clean along the tucking edges around here too. Because vinyl has got to stick. And it doesn't like to stick to dirt. One thing, always use a sharp knife when you're doing this. Especially when you're doing the edges. I got my piece of vinyl. Um, this is about 23 inches um, long as I mentioned there earlier. And this about, you can make this about 11 or 12 inches wide. Just up here. I know some of you guys are probably laughing at me. It's like, aha, I can do that in one piece, you fucking newbie. Oh, well, I don't care. I don't claim to be an expert in vinyl. I just started learning how to do this stuff. So please bear with me. If there is a better way to do it, please let me know. It won't offend me at all. I know most pro shops will probably do it in one piece, like I said earlier, but I haven't figured out a way to do it. I have tried it with one solid piece and I failed miserably. And there's that. You just want to make sure that you get the corners, these corners in here, and you want to make sure that they're in there all the way. Oh, it's still recording. <laughs> all right, so now I'm just going to get some of my, uh, some solution here, just so I don't scratch up the vinyl. So did your old lady give you shit about the light bar? <laughs> nah. <laughs> or else? Yeah. I got all shit. Okay. Boom. Check that. You can see all this extra excess is gonna be cut off and trimmed. I'll show you that in just a minute. One thing I take a lot of pride in is getting these edges nice and clean so that the dirt doesn't get in there and work its way through the vinyl. So as you can see, I don't know if you get a close up of that. We just trim along the edges. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut off a piece so we can get all this covered up. All right, so we're just lay laying our vinyl over. Um, like I said, most of the hard part's pretty much done, which is the um, inside piece. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure that everything is laid down nice and flat. Get all these bubbles out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the contour of the hood scoop and I'm gonna cut along this edge. All this vinyl's gonna go away. You wanna leave a little extra on top so that you can tuck it underneath. This part doesn't have to be pretty. This is all gonna get trimmed up anyways. So I'm just gonna cut it just a little more just to create my little flap that's gonna tuck underneath. Um, this part underneath is already covered in vinyl, so you don't have to worry about it. that and then on the edges I'm just gonna take the heat gun and kind of fold it in. I'm gonna heat this up right here. I'm gonna press it down. Like I said there's gonna be more trimming here so most of this stuff's gonna get trimmed off right along where my finger is anyways. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, 
And if you look real closely, you can kind of see the outline of the piece that's under it. So we're gonna cut just a little about, I don't know, about a half inch below that, just in case you mess up. You see the line? Oh, you barely see it. Yeah, barely. <laughs> All right, so finished product right there. Check it out. Yeah, and then uh, we'll get some uh, shots for you. Hopefully in the daytime, it's too dark outside right now. Well, maybe we can get some light on it. We'll show you how it looks on a hyper blue.